What's up folks, it's Dan here from BeAGameCharacter.com where we turn games into games and today we're going over every pull-up variation that I know and or like with one exception which is the chair assisted pull-up which I just don't want to bring a chair out right now because I'm lazy. Chair assisted pull-ups by the way are how you can start working towards pull-ups without actually being able to do a full pull-up. You just basically put your feet on a chair and pull up. I've covered them a bunch of times in other videos. So anyway, the pull-up is one of my favorite exercises in the world along with its friend the chin-up. And there's a whole bunch of different ways to do each version of each pull-up and chin-up. So we're going to go over them kind of rapid fire and talk about their benefits. Okay, first off, we have the very standard neutral pull-up, which is where you take your hands in an overhand grip, put them at about shoulder width apart over your head, and you're going to pull yourself up and back down again like so. Now, the neutral pull-up is a great back exercise, okay, it particularly works, at least for me, the uh, more upper area of your lats, which are your big back muscles right here to give you that classic V. Uh, it's kind of like the holy grail of bodyweight exercise when you first start working out. They're very difficult to do if you're just starting to work out, um, and you're going to have a hard time working out to them, but they feel so fantastic once you get them done, alright? So, pull-up. Back, okay? Mostly just back. It works other muscles too, including uh, your uh, uh, biceps and uh, even your deltoids a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, it is just a back exercise. Moving from there, we've got the chin up, which is where you take your hands under like this, okay? And put them about shoulder width apart and you pull yourself up like so. The chin up, unlike the pull up, incorporates your biceps a lot more. It does still work your back, however, it works your biceps as well. I personally find that as far as my joints go, they don't really like doing a neutral grip chin up, okay? That's just for me, that might not be for you. A lot of people will find the chin ups a little easier than the pull ups because they recruit your biceps more, whereas your pull ups rely so much more on your back. So if you're first starting to work out and you have a hard time with pull ups, try chin ups. They might be a little easier for you. From there, we're going to move on to our close grip variants, okay? We have the close grip pull up, which is again palms over, but held together like this up and down. You're going to find that the close grip variants of both exercises, both the pull up and the chin up, are probably going to recruit your back even a little more than they already do, especially if you're stretching out to full extension. And personally, I like the close grip chin up the best versus the pull up because I feel like I get less of a range of motion with the pull up. I feel like my muscles are a little pinched, whereas with the chin up, having them close together like that feels better than with a wide and or neutral grip. All right, speaking of wide grips, we have the wide grip pull up. This right here is going to work your lats as well, but also work your, the various muscles that articulate your scapula, i.e. your shoulder blades. Back here you got your rhomboids, you got all kinds of like little muscles in there whose names I can't remember right now. This is gonna hit those a little more than your standard uh, neutral grip pull up, all right? By coming wide like this, you're going to work your scapular retraction muscles a bit more. You're going to get a little bit smaller range of motion for your lats, so it's not going to you know, spur as much lat growth as a neutral grip pull-up. But you're going to feel it a little more in your arms as well than a neutral grip pull-up. Moving from there, we've got hammer grip. Okay, Hammer grip pull-ups, you can't necessarily do them on all pull-up bar types. You need to have something with bars that run this way. Some pull-up bars have handles on them like that. Mine here does, and these are kind of like almost a best of both worlds option in some ways. If you find that your shoulders don't like either a pull up or a chin up, you might want to try a hammer grip because some people's shoulders, if you have low shoulder flexibility and or damaged shoulders, they might not like being articulated in this way or this way, but a hammer grip, a neutral grip with your arms, they may enjoy it, all right? It works your biceps a little less than a chin up, but a little more than a pull up. It works your back a little less than a pull up, but a little more than a chin up. Like I said, kind of the best of both worlds. They're a great burnout exercise. So like if you're finishing up a back workout and you want something that's just gonna really torch you, all right, give the hammer grips a shot because if your biceps are kind of done and your back is kind of done, but they're kind of equally done, you might be able to get out more hammer grip pull ups than you would regular pull ups or chin ups. Uh, moving from there, we've got kind of my final version of just the standard pull-up, which is the towel grip pull-up. You're going to learn to hate this. These are awful because they work your grip strength as much as they work your arm strength, if not more so. And if you don't have strong hands, this is not going to work out very well for you the first time you try them. 
but like so, you just hang and pull yourself up. And you'll notice if you pull it over a bar like this, you're going to find yourself going kind of sideways. That's fine. Next up is a mixed grip pull up. One arm over, one arm under. These are great if you have really, really weak grip strength. So the opposite of the towel pull ups, they're still going to work some of the same muscles that chin ups and pull ups do, except that your hands are not strong enough to hold you up yet, but your arms and your back are strong enough to move you. These are a great version to do until your hands get stronger. Just make sure when you're doing them, you swap your hands back and forth between sets so that you don't work just one side or the other strictly. And then finally, we've got various abdominal variations for pull-ups. The most common of which that you'll see is the L-sit pull-up, which is where you have your hands in a pull-up position, but you have your legs out like this, and you pull yourself up and down like so. There are a bunch of other versions of that. You can add like a, a raised knee, or you can do something like stick a weight between your feet, or whatever you want to do if you really want to tax your abs a bit more. But those are a great place to start, especially with the hanging knee version, because that's going to put a little less emphasis on your abs if you're just starting out. Um, beyond that, I think we're just about done with every variation of pull-up I know, with the exception of weighted pull-ups, which again, we're not going to get to for the same reason, that we're not going to do chair-assisted pull-ups because I'm lazy. <laughs> but weighted pull-ups, which I've done here on the channel, you can do by holding a barbell between your feet. You can do it by holding a barbell between your thighs, if you've got like a big adjustable plate version. Or the easiest version is just with either a weighted vest or with a, a dip belt, which is a belt that goes around your waist like this, and uh, you can put your weights on the end of it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. As always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Bye bye. Listen.